guys. Just uh, showing them. He said, "I've just got uh, a cylinder head back that said the seat's done." Um, Get my new guy, so it's a little bit of a test now. That only a touch up, but um, we found that the exhaust valves, uh, some of them are quite bad as far as the vacuum seal that they made when you. Well, the exhaust is over this side, of course, but they put a vacuum on the side with the valve in, and the intakes are okay. But what I'm endeavouring to try and show you, I've got this one lined up. I'm not sure how this will go through the magnifying glass that you really. Okay, you can see pretty well the, uh, the grey line, which is here, which is I've just lapped in on the valve. That's spot on. They've just had a little touch, and there's a grey line. Ooh, can we get it? Let's see if we get a bit more light on there. It's a bit hard to see, but we have to take my word for it that this one here, that's the seat of that one. Now, um, that's it right. Oh, what's she going at? It's the intake one, and sorry, here is the exhaust one. It's bloody hard to see. Anyway, more importantly, is what we're seeing on the valve, which um, I guess you will be able to see you get under the light though. So yeah, we're right out on the edge. Now, I'm hoping you can see that distinct line, which is the two angle valve job. Normally we want to be a few mil closer to the stem of the valve, not right, on, right out on the edge like this. Now, these valves have been faced. Now, I don't think, that I'm gonna bring it up with them tomorrow, but I don't think it's anything with a very minimal amount that these guys have just touched them up, these are probably as is, so uh, I just want to bring it up so they don't try and sting me a whole valve job when, um, see the exhaust ones are not so, oopsie daisy, we don't want to be doing that with our valves. You might notice, it's very hard to see, but this, there's a slight, this is only 145 degree, but there is a slight mark just right, so this doesn't run right up to the edge on this valve seat. Uh, so that, I wouldn't say is incorrect, but I'd, I'd like to be off the edge of the valve because uh, it, it really should be in the middle of the seat. But um, the few thou that um, is involved to get that happening is not the job they were asked to do, so. I've really just touched all of these. I haven't finished lapping the rest of them in yet, but the intakes, as I say, look good. And I've barely touched any of these. So you can just see the nice shiny. Yep. And you can see it on this one too. So that just that little area there, they've barely touched it with a grinder, which is great. So I'll just ask them if they are happy with that. Um, it's just part of making the, getting this new relationship going with the guys who are doing this delicate gear, but uh, certainly picking up that on a brand new head, I got them to skim it fourth hour because this needed a uh, clean up cut to match the other one to get the CCs exactly even. So it took fourth hour off this. I uh, haven't CC'd it yet and I haven't lapped in the rest of the valves, but I just sort of let you know what I'm looking to find here. And uh, probably on your streetcar, you don't worry, but. It, it's not so much that it's more if you're paying for a valve job if you're getting the full seats cut um, yeah you really want to be uh, checking in this way and making sure everything is in the middle and that uh, as it wears then you're not getting off the edge of the valve which is my concern here where these are brand new valves and brand new seats so if there's something we can do to um, shape these up which is normally done out of the head I won't go into explaining how they do that but it, um, it basically lets the valve go in more uh, which will change my installed height it affects other things but if that's what we've got to do to get some longevity out of these seats and valves then uh, that's what, the way we should be setting this up so um, but yeah again I'm prepared to take advice from these guys so we'll see what they say tomorrow there's a few little things I'm noticing a few garks here as well that I'm going to 
debirth that I did in the first time around the spark plug holes. And I also noticed in the uh, exhaust port here that that'll be super hard to get a look at, but um, they haven't even. You see that porous there, that's as cast, so just goes to show you how much movement they must get. The rest of them are all, are all fine. It's beautifully. Oh, there's a little bit on that one too. But not so bad. It feels alright by my finger. It's okay. But that one, yeah, oh look, I wouldn't worry about it. It's on the short side radius on the exhaust, not a problem. But um, yeah, when we're talking about core shift on cast iron or aluminium or any of these production things, it's a lot of room for error. So uh, anyway, I'll leave that at that. Um, I'll post you on what they say. Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be all right with this. I'm just, it's an interesting discussion point to have with some new guys to see whether they uh, stand behind what they're doing. Anyway, have a good night guys.